Womanjika. Welcome to all of you watching this via YouTube and Facebook. I'm Professor Barry Cunningham, Dean of the Faculty of Fine Arts and Music here at the University of Melbourne. Today I'm on Boomerang Country in our faculty's Willen Garden on the South Bank campus of the University of Melbourne. Joining me are two very important guests, Boomerang uh, Elder Parbinata Carolyn Briggs and Tiriki Onus, Yorta, Yorta man and head of our Willen Centre for Indigenous Arts and Cultural Development here at the faculty. Womanjika to everybody. Today, the 27th of May, is an auspicious date for white and black Australians. It's the anniversary of the successful 1967 referendum to count Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders peoples in the census. Today is also the first day of National Reconciliation Week and our faculty always marks this uh, by inviting a traditional custodian of the land to perform a welcome to country and lead a smoking ceremony in the fire pit of our Willen Garden. The word Willen means fire and so we light the fire. The ceremony reviews our community's commitment to reconciliation with our Indigenous colleagues, students and friends. It reminds us all that there's always more to be done in learning about and celebrating Indigenous culture. And it's a reminder that separated as we currently are due to COVID-19, we continue to be united. Despite the challenging circumstances we all find ourselves in, we thought it fitting and important to share this moment as widely as we can with our community. And even though you can't be present with us in this beautiful place in the garden today, we know you're with us virtually and of course in spirit. I'll now hand over to Parbinata Carolyn Briggs for our ceremony. Marin Big Big Punarong Namde Barupton Ata Willem. When I say Womanjika, it means to come. It sets out a challenge to come, to ask to come. And what is your purpose for coming? The purpose for coming today is about a Chanabi, a celebration, a celebration of the Willen being lit. But it's also about a gathering in this place we know as the home or the Wielam, the home of the Willen. So it's all these journeys that we all go on and it is about that celebration of the national reconciliation. And it is about that gathering and it is about that celebration. And it also is recognizing that you're a part of this journey. And when we talk about lighting the, the fire or willen, we present a number of elements of nature to that fire. So this one, the black wattle. This represents the diversity of our elders. Elders throughout this great nation of ours, which uh, symbolizes this place we now call Australia. So there are diverse plants of the wattle or muyong throughout this amazing nation of ours. The next one, represents the diversity of our communities. And this is known as a eucalypt or gum leaves. And this is known as BL. BL, the diversity of our communities. The next element that goes into our fire represents our children. And this is called barley, because the barley needs host plants to grow. It takes the nutrition of its host plants. This represent, represents our children, what we call boobops. And 
like our children, we hopefully that it does not disconnect from its host plants. Like our children, whether they're our parents, whether our aunts, our grandparents, this is the significance of what this plant represents to create smoke, which is represented of cleansing your murup, your spirit. So these are the elements that are presented to the fire to create smoke. Nungujin. I present Meryung elders present to the smoke, to the wheelin, the eucalypt, BL. That represents communities in this great nation of ours. And also, this plant here represents our children, the importance of our futures, Yurimboy. So, and like our children, we hope they do not disconnect for the Yurimboy. Bali. So today, be, being Reconciliation Week, it represents, we've come to learn, we've come to learn to respect, we've learned to honour sacred ground, and we're, meaning Warungi Bik, the law of the land. And we are here also to respect the first peoples of this land. Womanjika, Nungujin. Thank you, Pabanata, Carolyn Briggs and Tiriki Onis for sharing your culture with us today. I'd like to finish by asking all of you who have joined us today to reflect not just on the culture and history of our first Australians, but on the ongoing responsibility each of us has to play an active role in reconciliation. The University of Melbourne is a learning place and it is important that we continue to learn from uh, the history, many thousands of generations uh, that, that are now present among us. The theme for this year's Reconciliation Week is In This Together. Very prescient and very important as we've been in uh, an extraordinary challenge across the world, which we're in together. And as we move through this week and the weeks and months to come, I'd ask you to hold that message uh, close to your hearts. Thank you very much and Womanjika. <laughs>